All right, guys, we are back again at Martin Logan CDA 2019. We got Andrew Lindsay here helping us out to get a tour of the booth. We got some new products here. This is probably the biggest in-wall flush mount speaker I've ever seen. It looks like you've got a line array type of uh, driver topology. The model is called the 40XW. I'm going to assume there's 40 drivers in here. I'm not going to sit here and count this. I'm not going to sit here and count this. I'm not going to sit here and count this. I'm going to take your word on it if that's the case. The retail on it is $20,000 each. So why would somebody need a product like this? What's the deal? Why would you want a line array on an in-wall product? Why don't you give me a rundown, Andrew? Sure. So this product is truly for the customer who's looking for that large floor standing sound without the space that takes up. We've truly made no compromises in performance and given you a line array of 40 drivers to not only give you that dynamic impact, but also project sound at, at distance very, very easily. So this can fill large spaces quite easily. And yes, there are 40 drivers. We have eight bass drivers, 16 mid-range drivers, and 16 tweeters. So uh, definitely can handle any content you throw at it. So in this speaker configuration, I don't see any subwoofers here. Would you say that this is a full range in wall? It's pretty darn close. It has extreme output down to around the low 50s area or even lower because uh, it is inside of a sealed back box. So we're still working within the confines of a traditional stud bay. Uh, but this is traditionally going to be used in a home theater application or a two channel system with external subwoofers. So one thing cool about having a line array kind of driver topology is if you're, especially if you're in a larger room, the, the benefits of a line array is that the sound doesn't fall off as steadily as a conventional driver topology. So a normal speaker, a normal three-way speaker, for example, would drop 6 dB for every doubling of distance. In this case, it's really like 3 dB for every doubling of distance. So your near field is much further out. You get that near field sound even when you're sitting further away from the speaker. You've got more dynamics. Would you say if somebody wants a, kind of a Neolith performance, but they can't fit a Neolith in their room and they don't have eighty thousand dollars would you say this is the closest thing in the martin logan family of products from a budget standpoint also and from a sound standpoint to a a Neolith kind of speaker. It's a little different. Uh, the Renaissance would be the closest to the Neolith, but of course that's a traditional floor stander, not going to save you much space. So if you really want that flagship Neolith quality sound, this would be your next best option. This is going to capture that magical sound of Martin Logan in a, in a footprint that's hidden in your wall. So, so, so a quick question on these drivers. This looks kind of, I thought this was aluminum at first, but it feels like it's carbon. Is this like a carbon fiber driver? Yeah, so this is unidirectional carbon fiber, which is actually much thinner and lighter than traditional woven carbon fiber. So these are uh, unidirectional carbon fiber multi-section cones that we've added Nomex on the back in order to prevent any kind of resonances. So these are very high tech, very lightweight and accurate and incredibly strong. So you've seen a lot on videos we've been doing in the past. It's all about resonance control with drive technology. There's many different ways of doing it. These guys are doing it with a light material, then they're damping it in the back as well as the surrounds. It's like everybody has different ways of getting to the right path. This is definitely one of the many ways of doing it. It looks like some great stuff in here. And then what do we have here? These are AMTs? Yeah, this is our Folded Motion XT Obsidian Tweeter. So very similar to the tweeters that are in our popular motion series, but these are actually black. So in a custom install product, you don't want any distractions. You don't want yellow tweeters coming out from behind the grill. So these are black in order to disappear in these custom install environments. So just another thing I was questioning, why didn't you just do this as a two-way line array? just using these woofers as mids and bass and not have these little, what are these, like two inch drivers? Three, as three, and a half. three and a half inch drivers as mids. Was there a reason why you guys did that? Our engineers thought it sounded better. So we got maximum low frequency performance with incredibly detailed mids and this is the topology that they chose to run with. So this driver, uh, man, this product will actually fit in uh, four inch studs? Absolutely, absolutely it will. Awesome, so what other products are in this line? So there's five models in this series, four in-walls and one in-ceiling. So the largest of which, of course, is the Statement 40XW behind us. Then we have a seven-driver version below that, a five-driver version below that, and a three-driver version below that. And our in-ceiling features four drivers uh, in, a, in a cutout, in an integrated back box. All models have integrated back boxes. Awesome. You know, I'm tired of talking about all this speaker stuff. 
Can I hear a demo? What's in this room over here? I want to hear a demo of this. Yeah, we've got something special in the room, Gene. Uh, we've got a pair of these statements uh, for front, left, and right. We have five of our seven driver versions to handle the center, the sides, and the surround backs. The five driver versions are duplicated on the sides. Four of the four driver versions in the ceiling and four of our Dynamo 1600X subwoofers. So no short on horsepower in there. So we'd love well, to give you a run. You know what? We're wrapping this video up right now. I'm done. Uh, Andrew, I appreciate you giving this rundown for us. I'm dying to sit down and hear this. Guys, if you like this video, please thumb it up. Subscribe to our channel. You got to share it. We want to get the views up. Join our Patreon at patreon.com slash audioholics. We give you content way before it goes on YouTube in many cases. So a lot of benefits of doing that. I hope you enjoyed this overview we've got here from Martin Logan. And until next time, keep listening.